he saw a miracle when building the Prophet's Mosque. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Egyptian engineer and architect, Dr. Muhammad Kamal Ismail, who was born in 1908 and sadly passed away in 2008, was the first engineer who took on the planning and implementation of the Mecca and Medina Mosque's expansion project. He exceeded the age of 100, which he spent in the service of the two most holiest mosques. Far from the media limelight, fame, and money, King Fahad and Bin Laden Company tried their best to pay Dr. Muhammad Ismail for his engineering design and architectural supervision. But he refused despite their best efforts. When he returned a check for millions of dollars, he told them, Why should I accept money for my work at the two most sacred mosques? How will I face Allah on the Day of Judgment? He also has amazing story in regards to the marble work of Haram Sharif, as he wanted to cover the floor of the Haram Mosque with marble in particular to absorb the heat for those making tawaf. This marble was only available in a small mountain in Greece. So he traveled to Greece and signed a contract, buying the sufficient quantity for the Haram, marbling, almost half of the mountain. He signed the deal, returned to Makkah and the white marble arrived. And indeed, the placement of the marble on the floor of the Holy Mosque in Makkah was completed, Alhamdulillah. After 15 years, the Saudi government asked him to place similar type of marble in the Holy Mosque in Medina. So, engineer Muhammad Kamal said, When the king asked him to cover the Prophet's peace be upon him Mosque 2 with the same marble, I got very confused because there was only one place on earth to get this type of marble, which was Greece. And I had already bought half of what they had available at the time. But Kamal decided to go to the same company in Greece and meet the CEO, which he did. Once he arrived, he asked him about the quantity that remains of the marble. The CEO said that it had been sold immediately after you left 15 years ago. So Kamal became very sad. Kamal left the meeting and while leaving their office, he met the office secretary and requested her to please share where the person was located who purchased the rest of the marble. She replied that it would be hard to know from such old records. Upon Kamal's request, she promised to search in the old records. Kamal gave her his hotel address and number and promised to revisit the next day. Kamal said to himself while leaving the office, Why do I want to know who bought it? On the next day, a few hours before leaving to the airport, Kamal received a phone call from the secretary saying that she had found the address of the buyer. Kamal went to their office in a slow pace, thinking what he would do with the address of the buyer, as many years had passed. Kamal reached the office, and the secretary gave him the address of the company who bought the rest of the marble. Kamal said that his heart pulsated and pumped deeply the moment he discovered that the company which bought the marble was a Saudi company, Subhan Allah. Kamal flew to Saudi Arabia the same day, and upon arrival, he went straight to the office of the company who bought the marble and met the director, and asked him what he had done with the marble that he purchased many years ago from Greece. He said, he couldn't remember. So he contacted the stock warehouse of the company and asked them about the white marble from Greece and they told him that all the quantity is available and was never used. Kamal started crying heavily and further narrated the full story to the owner of the company. Kamal gave the owner a blank check and asked him to write the amount you want. When the owner came to know that the marble is for the mosque of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, he said, I will not accept even one real. Allah made me purchase this marble and to forget about it. It was meant to be used for the mosque of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. Subhanallah. What an amazing story. Allah is the best of planners. May Allah bless Kamal the highest level in Jannah. Ameen. Mm -hmm.